DuPont Crop Protection and DuPont Pioneer, we are proud to support today's women in agriculture. Together, we can feed the world. The following is RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Advancing Women Conference. I'm Lindsay Smith with Real Agriculture. I'm joined today by Angela Santiago. We're at the Advancing Women uh, in Agriculture Conference here in Calgary. Um, Angela, you spoke today, or sorry, you're with the Little Potato Company out of Edmonton. Which yes. It's really quite a fascinating story. It was, um, as it related to us, not something you actually ever planned nope. to be a part of. Nope. Bell on my lap. Yes, yep. kind of left, which I think sometimes the best opportunity yes. to kind of do. Yep. Um, what I found really interesting, you're now 17 years into this company, um, and certainly it's grown, and your family has grown, and all those sorts of things. What I found fascinating is how you've brought um, an advisory board together, other people, not into the business, but into the decision making. So tell us about that. So one thing I discovered as a leader, it was really important that I could own the decisions, um, and that I was empowered to make the decisions that I thought was best for the company. But I still needed sounding boards, I needed people to advise me, I, I needed things to be bounced off and so the advisory board sort of scenario worked wonders for me. Because you could bring in experienced people that have been there, done it, um, could be a sounding board and then you could take away what you need to take away and go make the decisions for the, for the company. So really good working for me in terms of that. I never felt constrained by that kind of relationship. Um, the second thing was getting a personal coach and what that really helped me to do is allow myself to find a safe spot to struggle and be vulnerable with somebody and then allowing that person to challenge me, hold me accountable for what I said I was going to do. Right, and I think, you know, as a theme of this conference, um, you know, certainly uh, being open to opportunity, even when you're a little scared and just pushing through that and going with that, um, but certainly there's still a lot that comes into play in what's, you know, the right opportunity to take on or try, and so all that feedback sort of Absolutely. feeds into yeah. those decisions, which has been really, yeah. uh, I think, helpful for me as well to take in. Now, one of the other things, um, as I mentioned, your company has grown, your family has grown. Um, how you have a really neat sort of visual way of checking in on the balance and what might need attention. Yes. Tell us a bit about that. So, of course, this came out of being in a dire strait situation. I had a health um, challenge with breast cancer and uh, really took a lot of time to self self-reflect and go, okay, what what did I do or what what got me into this position where I lost sight of my own well-being? And so I put a vision board together and I very, it's, it's visual, um, there's four buckets of my life, uh, work, my family, me and my marriage, and I walk by it every day and I just ask the question, where, where are my buckets in terms of levels of fullness and which is the one that needs some some attention and that has really helped me stay in balance um, so yeah so uh, you know for me I, I also have young kids and work and a husband who also has a job and those sorts of things um, and I think we all sort of this myth of balance is that as you sort of put into there are certain times when other things are going to take priority absolutely but it's that check-in yeah. making sure it doesn't get too exactly of so yeah. my whole basically goal is to make sure none of those buckets are depleted, are empty. And they'll never be at the same level at all at the same time. Some go down a lot quicker than others, but it's my job to make sure that they never go empty. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, Lindsay.